Hello! Morning! And welcome to a very chilly, breezy village of Laird, which is in the heart of the North Highlands of Scotland. Behind us is Loch Shin. It's the largest loch in Sutherland. It stretches for 17 miles that way, about northwestish. Wow! And it's beautiful. The views are amazing. Even better when it's a bit warmer. <laughs> it is a bit chilly. There's mountains on each side. And you can probably just see in the distance the dam. In the 1950s, the level of the water behind the dam was raised by about 30 feet as they built that as part of the hydroelectric project. But that's not why we're here today. No, it's not. You like a good story, don't you? So long as it's got pictures. You like a good story. Good. I was watching a programme on the telly the other day, on the BBC, and it was called Grand Tours of Scotland's Locks. Ooh, it's a good programme, I get a lot of vlog fodder off of there, to be honest. Fodder? Fodder, yeah. And the guy that presents it was literally stood just behind where you are now. Hopefully the camera won't blow into the lock. And he was here at Loch Shin, telling the story of that wee hoose just out there in the water. Now, not only was it a really interesting story, but <laughs> Some friends told us about a lovely little cafe just round the corner down the road. It is as well. So we thought we'd film the wee hoose and then have a walk round the corner and have some lunch in the calf. Oh! Can you remember what we were doing about 200 years ago? Uh, we were on the Grand Union Canal, I think. <laughs> Feels like it sometimes. Back in 1824, there was a man from round here called Jock Brune. Jack Brown? No, Jock Brune. <laughs> and he was a local poacher, but he also had a little side hustle going on. He used to distill whiskey. Oh, I do like a, I do like a wee dram. <laughs> now, the local estate owner, or laird as they used to be called then, he wanted to learn how to distill his own whiskey. Because back in the 1820s, you couldn't really just nip down Victoria wine for a bottle of Bells. <laughs> So he came to Jock and he said to Jock, if you teach me how to distill whiskey, I will give you some land. Now, <laughs> Jock Broon, not Jack Brown, Jock Broon didn't have much in the way of money or land at the time. So he jump, you would jump at the offer, wouldn't you? Absolutely. So he taught the local laird how to distill whiskey and the local laird stayed true to his word and he gave Jock some land. That little bit of land, the little <laughs> island in the middle of Loch Shin. Now, Jock was so chuffed at becoming a landowner, there you go, <laughs> that he thought, he thought he'd build some property on his land. <laughs> so he built the wee hoose. It's a lovely wee hoose. It's got proper rustic slate tiles on roof. It's got a TV aerial. A TV aerial and a little proper wooden door, like a proper hob that we used to have on his boat. <laughs> Not long after Jock had finished building his little wee hoose out on the little island, a terrible thing happened. Oof. No, it was worse than that. He was out poaching one morning, he pointed the gun the wrong way and shot himself in the foot. Ouchie! More than ouchie, he died. Ooh! Jock no more. But his house, his wee hoose, has stood there ever since as Jock's legacy. Except it didn't. Which means it didn't there. It's all made up. It's all a load of old fooey. <laughs> it is. A load of old what? It was made up. The whole story was made up by the local community yeah. for a bit of fun. Yeah. And the BBC fell for it. Up, line and sinker. <laughs> they did. The clues were there. If you look carefully, Henry, Daphne, Joseph and Margaret, <clears throat> Jock Brune's family, yeah. were actually the characters from the cartoon, the Bruins in that Scottish newspaper. But what about the hoose? House. Hoose. House. Hoose. It's like there's a moose loose about this hoose. Do you remember that? <laughs> I do, yes. Was it really built in the 1820s? Was it, Eck? It was built in the 1990s. That's not even the original house. That's the third one. The first two were blown down in storms. In fact, the first one had a conservatory and a wind turbine on it. <laughs> It was actually built for the Leg Gala about 25 years ago. But after Gala Week had finished, rather than just dismantling it and throwing it away, they brought it down to the lock 
and put it on the little island. And then they created the story of Chuck Brune and the Brune family. They even got some of the locals to dress up and took photographs and made them look like it was from the 1800s to add a little bit of authenticity to the story. The things people do. It's not the first time I've been sucked in by a good story <laughs> like that, is it you? <laughs> You feel a bit silly? No. You think the BBC feel a bit silly? I think they do. <laughs> I think it's brilliant because there's these little stories in towns and villages all around the Highlands. Some that you've probably never heard of before like this. Some that you will have, like Loch Ness. The story of Loch Ness Monster oh. is a story that goes back years and years and years. Hundreds of years. And I think it's amazing. I love hearing all the stories. I hope you do too. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. If you have, and if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button, give the video a like, and if you hit the wavy bell, YouTube will let you know every time we release a brand new vlog, which is every Friday at four o'clock. I stole your thunder then. I'll just keep quiet. <laughs> if you want to help to support the channel, keep us making this stuff, there is a link up above Sean's head if you're watching on a smartphone and some other devices uh, where you can become a patron of the channel, be careful. <laughs> or a YouTube member. There's also some links in the video description on how you can support us. Yes. Anything else to add? Uh, bye. Is it time for lunch yet? Oh, yes. See you later. Take care of yourself. Bye bye. Ta -ra. Hang on, I'm not sure if I'm still... Yeah, I thought as much. Sean's trumping. Water's very clear, shall we go for a skinny dip? And I've forgotten where I'm going already. Yes, we're filming! Bloody cold! So, uh, in the lock. Out where is it? Oh, yeah, you know, uh, in the lock. <laughs> Three. You'll just get colder and colder if you don't get on with it. I made myself laugh. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much processing on this video with the wind. The wind's making me eyes water. So then have a walk around the corner and have some lunch in the gaff. Oh! <laughs> Somebody press pause and I've forgotten the names. <laughs> la 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 la. It's getting very windy. Are you ready? His grass wants mowing. How many? How many? Aye, even that. His brain's gone. My foot's hurting. Because right. I've stood still. Three and again. <laughs>